Chapter 1151, Ultimate Elder, 3. The golden-robed man had assumed that the black flames Yi Kington displayed were merely ordinary fire elemental cultivation techniques. He had not imagined that they were actually extraordinary flames. What kind of extraordinary flame is this? The golden-robed man frowned with a rather puzzled expression. In this world, there were a total of 3,000 types of extraordinary flames. Besides the dozen divine extraordinary flames that, according to legends, only the gods possessed, he knew all the other extraordinary flames. But he could not recognize the extraordinary flame that Yi Qingtong displayed. Even Yi Qingtong herself did not know the name of this extraordinary flame, much less the golden robed man. When Yi Qingtong had understood the ultimate origin skill, this extraordinary flame already existed. Later, when Yi Qingtong inherited the divine phoenix's bloodline, the extraordinary flame in her body had perfectly integrated with the divine phoenix's bloodline. After that, Yi Kington had coincidentally obtained the heavenly demon devouring bloodline, and then her extraordinary flame had transformed into a deep black color, and its power had become even more aggressive. To be honest, Yi Kington's extraordinary flame could not be considered as an orthodox extraordinary flame but was a mutated extraordinary flame. With the ultimate origin skill as its basis, it integrated with the divine phoenix's bloodline and the heavenly demon bloodline to form an entirely new type of extraordinary flame. Little girl, this extraordinary flame of yours is really something. The ultimate elder stared at the black flames that had surfaced around Yi Kington as he spoke. How many types of extraordinary flames are you familiar with? Yi Kington asked. Oh, I know about burning firewood but not too much about extraordinary flames. The ultimate elder thought for a while before replying. This reply rendered Yi Kington speechless. She had thought the ultimate elder was an expert and wanted to ask him about the reason behind mutated extraordinary flames. You have a death wish. The golden robed man suddenly bellowed in rage. His entire person transformed into an after image, and he swiftly arrived at Yi Kington's side. He raised his right hand and struck at her with a terrifying force. Fuh, you aren't showing me any respect. When he saw what was going on, the ultimate elder grunted coldly. He crooked his fingers, and the void next to Yi Kington suddenly twisted and swallowed Yi Kington up. Boom, with a deafening sound, the golden robed man's blow missed its mark. Yi Kington who had been right in front of him, suddenly vanished completely. At the same time, the space next to the ultimate elder suddenly started to ripple, and Yi Kington's figure appeared. Ha ha ha, little girl, isn't this fun? The ultimate elder laughed and said to Yi Kington, thank you for your help. Yi Kington cupped her fists and thanked the ultimate elder. This ultimate elder's space technique was truly extraordinary. Even at Yi Kington's peak, she had seldom seen the space technique being displayed. However, the ultimate elder's space technique had been cultivated to a very high level. He could exchange spaces and move them across a distance of a thousand miles. It was truly unparalleled. Before the ultimate elder could say anything, Yi Kington's expression suddenly changed, and she involuntarily looked behind her. Swoosh, whiz. Many ear splitting noises could be heard, and a few moments later, more and more after images surfaced in the void above. Two middle-aged men arrived in the nearby void. One of them was wearing a long black robe. He looked aged and wrinkled, and his left eye was blind. The other was wearing a long green robe. He was extraordinarily handsome, with waist-length bright red hair. A heavy sword was tied to his back with a white cloth. General Yu Tong, General Yu Ming, you're too late, said the golden-robed man. When he heard that, the green-robed man, who was called Yu Tong, laughed remotely and said, General Yu Jin, can't you deal with the ants in this inferior mainland yourself? Chapter 1152, Pagoda Sword Master, 1. This is the girl who destroyed Sky Stars City and Wind Cloud City, Yu Ming, the other black-robed man, said. His remaining eye fell on Yi Kington. Behind the two generals were many powerful cultivators from the ancient Yu clan. Most of them were at the level of Yang Lord. Ah uh ah, -uh, this old man is quite powerful, and his skills are comparable to mine. Also, Elder Yinfo tried to kill me and seize my generalship. I was attacked from all sides just now, the golden-robed man said laughingly. When he heard that, the green-robed man, Yu Tong, looked at the ultimate elder. In an instant, 
Yu Tong's eyes turned blood red. His pupils slowly turned as if they contained everything in the universe. With just one look, Ultimate Elder shuddered. Illusion? When she saw what was happening, Yi Kington's expression changed. This green-robed man's eyes belonged to some bloodline and were extremely terrifying. He is under my control. However, this old man has great mental strength. General Yu Jin, I cannot last for long. Go and kill him, said the green-robed man, Yu Tong. When he heard that, the golden-robed man's lips curled slightly upwards. The frightening lotus-shaped extraordinary flame surfaced in his hand, and he threw it at the ultimate elder's brow. This is bad. Yi Qingtong immediately used her mutated extraordinary flame. Her entire body was instantly filled with black flames, and she was poised to rescue the ultimate elder. However, before Yi Qingtong could act, they heard a swooshing noise. Thousands of sword glints fell like rain from the void. At that moment, there was a surge of sword breath, and sword silhouettes could be seen everywhere. The entire area seemed to turn into a country of swords. The golden-robed man was blasted by the sword glints and forced back by a few dozen steps. A golden sword glint surfaced in the void. The golden-robed man narrowed his eyes when he saw the golden sword glint. The golden sword glint rapidly transformed into an old man in a cotton robe. Humphrey. When the old man saw the ultimate elder, he grunted loudly. The ultimate elder immediately opened his eyes. We haven't met for a long time. You're getting weaker. The old man looked at the ultimate elder and said coldly, You when he saw the old man. The ultimate elder looked rather surprised. Pagoda sword master. When she heard that, Yi Kington was also taken aback. Legend had it that this old man was the most powerful cultivator in this mainland but he had left many years ago. Pagoda Sword Master. Legend had it that the Pagoda Sword Master had become renowned when he was young. He had defeated all the powerful cultivators in this mainland. The Ultimate Elder and the Blood Moon Holy Lord had cooperated to fight the Pagoda Sword Master, but they had also lost. Of course. The Blood Moon Holy Lord was only the spiritual incarnation of the Heavenly Emperor and not the Heavenly Emperor himself. No matter how powerful the Pagoda Sword Master was, there was probably still a gap between him and an especially strong cultivator like the Heavenly Emperor. Of course, Yi Kington did not know how powerful the Pagoda Sword Master currently was. Everyone, please show me some respect and leave this mainland. The Pagoda Sword Master swept a glance at the golden-robed old man and the three generals as he spoke. I'm afraid you don't deserve such respect. The green-robed man, Yu Tong, laughed coldly. We are the ancient Yu clan. We want to exterminate this mainland and take away something that belongs to our clan. But how about this, if you are willing to join the ancient Yu clan, we will let you live, the golden-robed man said. In that case, more words are futile. Let us fight. As the Pagoda Sword Master spoke, two frightening beams of sword breath burst forth from his eyes and swept towards the group from the ancient Yu clan. Chapter 1153, Pagoda Sword Master, 2. At this instant, the Yu ancient clan people attacked immediately and formed several prints with their palms. Subsequently, an almost substantive screen appeared in the air and trapped everyone in it. The sword aura that shot out from Pagoda Sword Master's eyes immediately slashed the screen, and a deafening noise erupted. Humphrey, Ultimate Elder scoffed loudly, and he leaned forward, twisting the surrounding space. The sword shadow that Pagoda Sword Master slashed out entered the twisted space, and the next time the sword shadow appeared, it was already thrust into the screen by the twisted space. Puff. Several you ancient clan disciples had their necks slit by the Pagoda Sword Master's sword shadow and died at the scene. Almost instantly, the three generals of you ancient clan leapt toward Ultimate Elder and Pagoda Sword Master, causing an overpowering aura to fill the air. In just the blink of an eye, both sides were locked in a battle. Seeing that the battle was increasing in violence, the Blood Moon Elder quietly walked to Yi Kington's side and whispered softly, Holy Lady, let's run first. They originally thought that they would definitely die, but unexpectedly, Ultimate Elder and even Pagoda Sword Master, who had disappeared from this mainland for a long time, rushed over. 
Now that Ultimate Elder and Pagoda Swordmaster were engaged in a tight battle, it was a good chance for them to flee. However, it was as though Yi Qingtong did not hear Blood Moon Elder's suggestion, and her attention was completely focused on the battlefield. It was not that Yi Qingtong did not wish to take this chance to escape but she discovered that as the battle intensified, the spirit energy on this mainland expanded immediately, and this mainland was about to burst from the spirit energy that they discharged. Regardless of Ultimate Elder, Pagoda Sword Master, or those powerful figures from Yu Ancient Clan, their skills had already exceeded the limit of this mainland, and this excess may not be completely leveled even if their skills were suppressed. In this intense battle, the powerful figures executed their skills brazenly. The dangerous amount of force that exceeded the spirit energy of this mainland was a constant assault to this mainland's tolerance of spirit energy. Uneasiness crept into Yi Qingtong's heart. The martial culture of this mainland had always been low, and there were few powerful figures such as Ultimate Elder, Pagoda Sword Master, and Blood Moon Holy Lord. Thus, their appearance would not have much influence on this mainland. However if the number of such powerful figures suddenly inflated in the same area, and these powerful figures unleashed their powers at the same time, how could this mainland be able to withstand this bout-like assault? By then, this mainland would explode due to the inability to withstand so much force. Yi Qingtong frowned inadvertently at that thought. If it was really as she guessed, everyone on this mainland would die regardless of the Yu ancient clan's attack. At this instant, more and more Yu ancient clan figures rushed over from all sides. The Ultimate Elder and the Pagoda Swordmaster were facing three Yu ancient clan generals. Although they were not at a disadvantage yet, the arrival of more Yu ancient clan figures eventually saw the strain of even Pagoda Swordmaster, the man known as the most powerful figure of this mainland. Chapter 1154, Pagoda Swordmaster, 3, It May Not Be So. The Ultimate Elder suddenly looked up and gazed afar. Almost at the same time when Ultimate Elder looked over, a wave seemed to appear in the air. In just the blink of an eye, numerous black shadows appeared from that wave. Those black shadows transformed into bolts of light and descended from the sky unannounced. The masses from the three mighty forces, Phantom Valley, Peerless School, and Beiming Manor, suddenly appeared in everyone's sight. Greetings. Ultimate Elder. Three tall figures stood out from the three mighty forces. The masters of Phantom Valley, Peerless School, and Beiming Manor immediately walked forward and greeted Ultimate Elder with a bow and cupped fists upon seeing him. Okay. Ultimate Elder waved a hand briefly in response. Ultimate Elder was a legendary powerful figure on this mainland, and even the three mighty forces were extremely respectful toward him. Yi Qingtong had a look of understanding when she saw the arrival of the three mighty forces. Currently, the invasion of the central mainland powerful figures into this mainland was a pressing crisis, and the peerless school, Phantom Valley, and Beiming Manor would not sit around and do nothing. The three mighty forces must be aware of the current situation and the Yu ancient clan's intentions. If they did not stop the Yu ancient clan's massacre, the three mighty forces would also ultimately vanish along with everyone on this mainland. They were not fools. No egg was left intact when the nest was doomed. Regardless of their dynamics previously, they could only join forces now. Senior Ultimate Elder. This is. Beiming Manor Chief looked at Pagoda Sword Master and asked curiously. Pagoda Sword Master, replied Ultimate Elder. Pagoda Sword Master? Their expressions changed when they heard this name. The Pagoda Sword Master had left this mainland a long time ago, and barely anyone knew what he looked like. The power holders of the three mighty forces had never seen the Pagoda Sword Master before either. Although they had not met the Pagoda Sword Master before, he was extremely esteemed and renowned. Legend has it that the Pagoda Sword Master was the number one figure of this mainland, and even the Blood Moon Holy Lord back then was defeated by him. They heard that the Pagoda Sword Master had left this mainland a long time ago, yet unexpectedly today the Pagoda Sword Master actually returned to this mainland when it was facing a crisis. The addition of the three mighty forces resulted in ten plus Yang Lords on the Pagoda Sword Master's side. Yet despite this situation, Yi Kington was not seen to be relieved at all, and she looked at the frowning Ultimate Elder. As expected, 
The ultimate elder had a somber expression as he looked at the Yu ancient clan masses, even with additional support. The ultimate elder was still distressed. While the three mighty forces joined in, the Yu ancient clan was much more powerful than he expected, and it was probably tough to contend against them even if the full force of the three mighty forces participated. If the hidden ancient clan of this mainland could join them, perhaps there was a tiny help in this battle. Ha ha, aren't you all being delusional for wanting to protect this mainland with just a few of you? The golden robed elderly of the Yu ancient clan snickered. Chapter 1155, The Spirit Energy Crisis, 1. As the golden robed man had said, it was basically unrealistic to resist the Yu ancient clan even with ten more Yang lords. Swoosh. At this instant, many figures flashed across the sky. Ultimate Elder finally sighed in relief at the sight. Finally here, several figures loomed from the sky and entered everyone's vision. After the elderly in the lead landed on the ground, he immediately looked at Ultimate Elder and spoke. Ultimate Elder, it's been long. Looking at those people who arrived suddenly, Yi Kington realized that there were many Yang lords who came with the elderly, and the clothes that they were wearing were embroidered with a foreign and aged totem. A guess struck Yi Kington almost instinctively. Yi Kington seemed to have seen that totem in an ancient book in her previous life before. It was just that the ancient book only had a few fragments left when Yi Kington obtained it and this totem appeared in the remaining excerpts. Although there was no detailed description of the origin of this totem, it vaguely mentioned that this totem seemed to be related to the ancient clan of this mainland. Although this mainland's martial culture was backward, it still had a long history, and there were many hidden ancient clans. Apart from the obscure ancient clan that attacked Falling Sky Valley, there were other ancient clans living in between the mountains and clouds. Similarly, both the ancient Yu clan and the domain monarchs Jiang clan in central mainland were classified as ancient clans. The totem seen on the group of people who came suddenly led Yi Kington to guess that they could be an ancient clan that had been concealed from the world for a long time, though she could not be certain. However, looking at how the elderly in the lead and ultimate elder were talking, they seemed to know each other. The golden robed man from Yu ancient clan stared at those ancient clan figures who rushed over fearlessly, and a sneer hung on his lips. You think too highly of yourselves. In reality, given the backward martial culture of this mainland, the obscure ancient clans of this mainland were no match for those of the central mainland even if they showed up. However, to a certain extent, if the obscure ancient clans of this mainland were willing to join the war, they could still resist the ancient Yu clan for a period of time even if they were unable to defeat the ancient Yu clan. After all, this mainland's suppression of skills could slightly restrain the ancient Yu clan's skills. Had there not been such suppression, the ancient Yu clan would probably have destroyed this mainland a long time ago. Yi Kington was even more somber when she saw the golden robed man's arrogant attitude. If there were powerful figures at Yin Yang perfected Lord Tenth Heaven like Divine King Luo Zhu, the calamity of this mainland could be easily prevented. Nonetheless, the Yin Yang perfected Lord Tenth Heaven figure from the obscure ancient clan that attacked Falling Sky Valley had been killed by Divine King Luo Zhu, and Divine King Luo Zhu, himself, was dead too. This mainland most likely had no other figures at Yang Lord Tenth Heaven. As the mainland's catastrophe approached, an increasing number of itinerant cultivators rushed over to the battlefield. It was just that this mainland's spirit energy was too thin, and only a handful number of itinerant cultivators were powerful figures as almost all the true powerful figures were in ancient clans. For example, one of the powerful figures from the ancient clan killed by Divine King Luo Zhu was in the Yang Lord Tenth Heaven Realm, and he was considered an ancient figure. Chapter 1156, The Spirit Energy Crisis, 2. Apart from him, almost no one from the remaining obscure ancient clans lived over 10,000 years. These obscure ancient clans and divine King Luo Zhu did not live in the same generation. While they were obscure ancient clans, 
they were the descendants of those ancient figures from 10,000 years ago. In terms of skills, it was impossible for them to be compared to that Yang Law 10th Heaven person whom Divine King Luo Ziu killed. Endless explosions could be heard at this instant. The Pagoda Sword Master's side and the Yu Ancient Clan's side were locked in a battle. Immensely horrifying martial auras crashed into one another and remarkable skills were executed. One could hardly distinguish the situation with the naked eye. Holy lady, are we going to join the battle? The Blood Moon Elder was standing beside Yi Kington currently. The two of them had long been ignored as though they did not exist. Arda and Zeal coursed through the Blood Moon Elder's blood as he watched the great match. His eyes were burning while his unrivaled body could not hold back any longer and he wanted to show off his skills. By then, he would definitely become the center of attention. Yi Qingtong frowned deeply and shook her head. We are not joining the battle? The Blood Moon Elder was slightly surprised and did not know Yi Qingtong's intention. The Pagoda Sword Master and Ultimate Elder's side fell behind in terms of numbers and skills when fighting against the ancient Yu clan. Once Yi Qingtong and he, two top Yang Lords, participated, there would be an evident improvement in the situation. However, Yi Kington did not say anything and inspected the sky instead. The spirit energy of this mainland was expanded increasingly as the battle intensified. If it expanded to the limit, there would only be one possibility. This mainland would no longer be able to bear this pressure. The pressure of the spirit energy from the outer world would completely crush this mainland. By then, everyone did not need to continue fighting as everyone would die. Look at the spirit energy of this mainland, Yi Kington told the Blood Moon Elder. Spirit energy? Confusion was etched the Blood Moon Elder's face as he did not know what Yi Kington meant. He looked up instinctively. His expression changed drastically a moment later and horror filled his wide eyes. This, this the Blood Moon Elder trembled slightly. The spirit energy of this mainland is compressed rapidly and inflating outward. That's right. Yi Kington nodded her head. If this goes on, this mainland will definitely be unable to bear the pressure of the spirit energy and explode. The Blood Moon Elder was astonished. Once this mainland could not bear the pressure of the spirit energy and exploded, no one dream shall of leaving this place alive. The people of this mainland and the ancient Yu clan members would all die here. Blood Moon Elder naturally knew the reason behind the compression and expansion of the spirit energy. The spirit energy in this mainland was thin from the start, and this mainland was classified as a low-level mainland. Normally speaking, it could only withstand the aura of an ordinary Yang Lord. However, with ancient Yu clan, Pagoda Sword Master, and those powerful ancient clans gathered at one place currently, all their forces, including the Pagoda Sword Master's Sword Dao Willpower, had greatly surpassed the power that a Yin Yang perfected Lord Realm could control and even more so, the limit that this mainland could withstand. Now that all the excess force that this mainland could withstand exploded in one area, this was simply suicidal. Chapter 1157, The Spirit Energy Crisis, 3. Just the thought of this gave the Blood Moon Elder goosebumps all over. He hollered immediately, Stop fighting, everyone. The voice of Blood Moon Elder's new body was shocking, and his shout was like a thunderous roar that pierced everyone's eardrums. As expected, both parties looked at the Blood Moon Elder after the shout. Noticing that everyone finally stopped fighting, the Blood Moon Elder hurriedly pointed to the sky. Look for yourselves. Everyone looked up and what laid before them stunned them utterly. The clouds in the sky above them seemed to be burnt as a result of the maximum compression and outward expansion of spirit energy. Burnt clouds ultimate elder was astonished. The ultimate elder and the pagoda sword master were high level figures and knew what was going on roughly after a slight inspection. If they continued the fight with you ancient clan, the spirit energy would be expanded to the maximum in no time and the massive pressure released was sufficient to destroy this mainland. Given the scale of the explosion produced by the spirit energy, this mainland would completely disappear from the Earth's surface in at most three to five breaths time. Moreover, in this extremely short span of time, even a holy venerate level figure who came here might not be able to escape this place alive. Similarly, people from the Yu ancient clan noticed the unusual phenomenon in the sky. Everyone, stop. The green-robed Yu Tong, one of the three generals of ancient Yu clan, shouted with a deep frown. Their martial skills had exceeded the limit that this low-level mainland could bear, 
and if they continued to fight, they would be unable to obtain the spiritual abode or even leave this place alive. Both parties did not dare to make a move recklessly. The main force of both parties had ordered to stop the fight, and the burnt clouds in the sky caused uneasiness. No one dared to take any rash and unconsidered actions. Everyone, you all have seen the situation. Pagoda Sword Master looked at the three generals of the ancient Yu clan and said, Their powers had already exceeded the limit that this mainland could bear, and they were even gathered together. The originally perilous spirit energy of this mainland could no longer withstand the powers unleashed in the intense mass battle. If they continued the battle, the spirit energy of this mainland and, subsequently, the entire mainland would explode ultimately, all of them would die here. A one-eyed elderly of you ancient clan coldly said, it is simple. Since we can't battle in the same place, we can split up the battlefield. Their objective for coming to this mainland was to obtain Yu Yun's spiritual abode and would definitely not put an end to their plan. On the other hand, the powerful figures of this mainland, with Ultimate Elder and Pagoda Sword Master in the lead, would not sit idly and wait for death. This war was unavoidable yet also could not continue in this way. Otherwise, both sides would be over. The only strategy now was to disperse the powers of the masses to prevent the suicidal act of an aggressive battle at one spot. The other two generals' eyes brightened at that suggestion. As long as the battlefield was spread out, the pressure from the war would naturally be dispersed. By then, such a circumstance would not happen. Yu Yun's spiritual abode must be obtained and had to be brought back to Yu ancient clan's headquarters no matter what. This was the do or die order given by the senior executives of the headquarters. Chapter 1158, Splitting the Battlefield, 1. Just as you wish, the pagoda sword master said as he swiftly swept a gaze across the three generals. Under the circumstances, it was unrealistic to expect the ancient Yu clan to abandon their invasion and choose to leave, so they had no choice but to fight on. However, they were unable to gather in one spot, so they were forced to split up the battlefield. In the end, the land was divided into three zones. The eastern part of the mainland became the eastern battlefield, the northern part became the northern battlefield, the southern part became the southern battlefield. The ultimate elder assumed command of the eastern battlefield, the pagoda sword master of the northern battlefield, while the powerful cultivators of the ancient clan held the southern battlefield. Go, Yi Kington looked at the blood moon elder and said, the three main battlefields had been formed, and there would be no fighting here. Yi Kington wanted to leave before the ancient Yu clan noticed herself and the blood moon elder. Although blood moon elder had not yet been exposed, if he remained in the ancient Yu clan, he would die. He had no choice but to leave with Yi Kington. When he heard that, the Blood Moon Elder nodded. He threw Yi Kington onto his left shoulder and stepped out. He instantly vanished on the spot. The formation of the three main battlefields was not good news for the Ultimate Elder or Pagoda Sword Master. Splitting the battlefield was equivalent to dividing their manpower and strength. The ancient Yu clan had no problem dividing their manpower and strength. The ancient Yu clan had many more powerful cultivators than this mainland. The more the powerful cultivators from this mainland were split up, the better it was for the clan. After half a day, the Blood Moon Elder's huge body suddenly appeared in the falling sky valley of the Nine Knights Dynasty. Blood Moon Elder's appearance caused an uproar in the entire Nine Knights Dynasty. They only relaxed when they finally realized that the Blood Moon Elder was a friend and not an enemy. Motha, when he saw that Yi Kington had returned, little Yuozu ran out of the valley. He hugged Yi Kington's ankles and batted his eyelids at Yi Kington. Yi Kington smiled when she saw little Yuozu running towards her on his short legs. She picked him up and hugged him while he was in her embrace. Little Yuozu suddenly spotted the little white tiger in Yi Kington's arms. It was as if he had discovered a new world. His small white hand immediately caught hold of the little white tiger's ears. If you were not so small the little white tiger glared at little Yuozu. Has little Yuozu been good? Yi Kington put down Yuozu and laughed softly. When he heard that, little Yuozu held on to the little white tiger's ear while nodding at Yi Kington. Before long, perfected Xuanzhen. 
the Yi family and the Si family all came out of the valley. Everyone was shocked to see the Blood Moon Elder's huge body. Yi Kington had no choice but to explain the circumstances to them. After hearing Yi Kington's explanation, everyone relaxed. Many Falling Sky Valley disciples surrounded the Blood Moon Elder and stared at him, as if studying his expression. Kington, what's going on? Perfected Xuanqian looked at Yi Kington and asked. Yi Kington did not hide anything and explained all that had happened to them. Perfected Xuanqian was very shocked to learn about the division of the battlefield. The Nine Knights dynasty was south of the mainland and was considered to be in the southern zone. Based on the division of the mainland's battlefield, it would be under the command of the ancient clan. Kington, are these powerful cultivators from the ancient clan the same as the ancient clan that came to our falling sky valley previously perfected Xuanshan looked at Yi Kington with a somewhat worried expression, chapter 1159, splitting the battlefield, 2 master, there is more than one ancient clan between the mountains and the clouds, the ancient clan controlling the southern war zone is not the same as the clan that came to falling sky valley previously, said Yi Kington, the ancient clan that came to the Falling Sky Valley previously was the most powerful ancient clan in this mainland and had members who were 10th Heaven Yang Lords. However, in the Battle of the Falling Sky Valley, most of the powerful cultivators of that ancient clan had been killed by Divine King Luo Zhu, so they were greatly weakened. However, the ancient clan holding the southern zone was an ancient clan hidden between the mountains and clouds and was different from the other ancient clan. Perfected Xuanjin relaxed after hearing Yi Kington's explanation. At that moment, the Yi family members all sighed. The mainland's battlefield was divided into three zones. They were cultivators in the southern battlefield but were too weak to fight the ancient Yu clan. Although they were cultivators of this mainland, they had no way of protecting their homeland once it was invaded. They were not even worthy of entering the battlefield. Even Yi Kington was somewhat worried. Even without dividing up the powerful cultivators of this mainland, the Pagoda Sword Master, the Ultimate Elder, and the Master of the Ancient Clan could hold their own against the three generals. The extremely powerful cultivators at the same level as the generals were about equal in numbers. But below the rank of general, their numbers differed vastly. The vast difference in numbers meant that this mainland would die slowly. The ultimate elder and pagoda sword master, and even the master of the ancient clan, knew this. But they had no other recourse. If things carried on like that, before long the three battlefields would slowly be lost. Eldest young lady what should we do? Daoist Zijin looked at Yi Kington and asked worriedly. Besides the powerful cultivators from the hidden ancient clan and the ancient Yu clan, cultivators at the level of Daoist Zijin would normally be considered the most powerful cultivators in this mainland, second only to the three main forces. But with the changes that occurred in this mainland, the ancient Yu clan's invasion, the Pagoda Sword Master's return, the Ultimate Elder's appearance, the hidden ancient clan resurfacing their status was reduced to nothing, they were not even worthy of being used as cannon fodder. Yi Kington frowned slightly and did not hurry to answer. Based on Yi Kington and the Blood Moon Elder's power, they could be considered the most powerful cultivators in this mainland. However, they were unable to change the tide of battle. The ancient Yu clan was just too powerful and too numerous. Also, there was still the powerful commander-in-chief who had not yet made an appearance. In the long run, how long could this mainland last? A few days, a few months, or even half a year? No matter how long it lasted, the conclusion was inevitable. This heralded the end of this mainland's hopes. Yi Kington took a deep breath, although she felt helpless to change the situation. At that moment, her gaze swept across everyone in the Falling Sky Valley, and she spoke decisively. I will protect all of you until the last possible moment. In her previous life, she had no cares or worries. She had left this mainland early without knowing what kind of crisis it experienced in the end. Today, the people she cared about the most were all in this mainland. Her relatives, her master. Even though there was no hope, she would guard them all to the very end. When they heard that, everyone quavered. Although Yi Kington had not spoken loudly, each one of her decisive words reached their ears. It was just a simple sentence, but under the circumstances, this promise was worth its weight in gold. Chapter 1160, Splitting the Battlefield, 
3. King Tung come with me, perfected Xiu Anjun looked at Yi King Tung and spoke suddenly. Yi King Tung immediately handed little Yuo Xiu over to her father, Yi Ling, and followed perfected Xiu Anjun. Yi King Tung and perfected Xiu Anjun soon came to a desolate place. King Tung, I have discovered something perfected Xiu Anjun checked to ensure that there was no one about before speaking. Yi King Tung was taken aback when she saw perfected Xiu Anjun's expression. She did not know what had happened to cause perfected Xiu Anjun to act so mysteriously. Master, may I ask what has happened? Yi King Tung vaguely sensed that perfected Xiu Anjun had something important to tell her. Perfected Xiu Anjun pondered for a moment before saying, King Tung, I suppose you know about little Yu Yun's background, although she did not know why perfected Xiu Anjun had suddenly mentioned little Yu Yun, Yi Kington was naturally aware of her background, little Yu Yun was created from the power of the extraordinary lady's spiritual abode, the source of her power was the spiritual abode, of course, this was merely Yi Kington's guess, but no matter what, Little Yu Yun had some close connection with the extraordinary lady. Yi King Tung even suspected that little Yu Yun was the extraordinary lady's reincarnation. King Tung, I'll just speak bluntly you may not believe me, because even I find it hard to believe it myself. Perfected Xiu Anjun looked at Yi King Tung mysteriously. When she saw the serious perfected Xiu Anjun looking so mysterious, Yi King Tung could not help but laugh softly. Master. What's the big secret? Stop being mysterious. Kington yesterday I discovered by chance that little Yu Yun can control the spirit energy in this mainland. Perfected Xiu Anjun finally blurted out what he had seen and heard. Yi Kington's expression changed when she heard perfected Xiu Anjun's words. To be able to control the spirit energy in this mainland what kind of concept was that? It was akin to being a true god. Master, is that true? Yi Kington was somewhat skeptical. Absolutely. Perfected Xiu Anjun nodded repeatedly. Kington, you should know that we martial cultivators basically rely on spirit energy. The difference between powerful and weak cultivators is the ability to control and absorb spirit energy. To become a powerful cultivator, one must be situated in a place rich in spirit energy and physically absorb this spirit energy to achieve breakthroughs to the next level if little Yu Yun can control spirit energy then she can. As perfected Xiu Anjin spoke, a trace of shock surfaced in Yi King Tung's eyes. Of course, Yi King Tung understood this principle. If little Yu Yun could really control spirit energy, then in some sense, she could create gods. I understand Yi Kington muttered softly to herself. Little Yu Yun and the extraordinary lady had some intimate connection, and this mainland was created from the extraordinary lady's spiritual abode. It made sense that little Yu Yun could control the spirit energy in this mainland. It was as if the extraordinary lady herself was present. A moment later, Yi King Tung followed perfected Xiu Anjin to the pavilion. Little Yu Yun was in her room. Little Yu Yun's eyes brightened the moment she saw Yi King Tung. However, she seemed unwilling to acknowledge perfected Xiu Anjin and pouted. When he saw that, perfected Xiu Anjin looked rather embarrassed. Little Yu Yun, are you still angry with grandfather? When perfected Xiu Anjin saw that little Yu Yun could control spirit energy, he had deliberately asked little Yu Yun to repeatedly perform her actions. In the end, little Yu Yun had grown impatient and refused to respond to perfected Xiu Anjun. Ha ha, little Yu Yun, don't be angry. Grandfather has brought you a treat. Perfected Xiu Anjun laughed happily and strode forward. He took out a stick of candy from somewhere, 